Good morning, Nate here with Mock Motion. We are at Regal Plastics getting ready to do a retrofit recontrol uh, of a Thermwood ES82 router. Uh, it's a dual table router with four spindle motors. Uh, today we're going to decommission the old control, uh, take out the old electrical enclosure and start simplifying the machine by taking some spindle motors off, uh, switching to a new spindle setup with VFD and adding an automatic tool changer. So at this stage, we've got all the cables brought into the panel. We've tracked down every cable on the machine and labeled them. Um, and we have all the wiring just initially attached. We still have to button this whole panel up. Every wire at this point has a ferrule crimped on it and a wire label. When we spec this job, we did not have machine prints. So we had a count of all the inputs and outputs and they're just generically labeled inside the machine prints at this point. So we're gonna redline each function after it's tested and then these will go back to the engineers and they will print out um, a final version for the customer. So I just removed the safety tag out and lock out. And we have power brought to the top of our switch here. So I'm gonna check and make sure we have 480 volts. Checking between leg one and two, we've got 491 and 489. So we're within spec there. I currently have my 24 volt um, circuit breakers turned off my 110 volt fuse is pulled, 
and also my logic pulled to the servos. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. I've got power going to the spindle drive. Everything else is still off. I'm gonna turn on my logic supply. And then I'm gonna turn on my primary going to the, um, to the drives and also to the 115 volt. And I'm gonna go ahead and test that real quick. Make sure within spec. So I've got 130 volts. It's a little bit high, but that'll be fine. That's still within tolerance. Turn on the rest of the 115 volt circuit. And let's check our 24 volt power supplies before I turn them on. Switch over to DC. So we've got 24, 24 and 24. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on all three circuits. So now we've got power going to the motion controller, to the PLC, safety circuit. Server drives um, are, do not have the motors connected, so we've got alarms in each drive, which is fine. We've got the controller starting up. And Windows has booted, and now we're waiting for the software to start up. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver just to test some of the proximity switches. All right, so this is our first startup. We're gonna go over and see what IO has been mapped. Go to machine outputs and We've got our output signals mapped. Most of our inputs are not mapped. We've got some for the tool changer on the spindle, just the draw bar um, unclamped and clamped. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and test one of the outputs. We're gonna test the first output on the PLC. And I heard it click and we've got a green light on right there, which is great. Um, the actual relays are not on yet because the safety circuit is still tripped. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to reset that because we've got um, the server drives alarmed out. But I'm gonna give it a try here. Nope, so we've got server drive alarm and safety relay tripped and spindle motor fault. So um, we're gonna to have to connect the server drives before I can test that. So now what we're doing is we figured out a way to add a couple more inches of travel to the machine. So we enlarged the disc that holds all of the tools. And we cut, this was actually the first part we cut on this machine. But for touching off and stuff, it's really nice. The other thing is you can hit your feed hold button. So sometimes if it's a new part and I'm worried about it, I don't only have enough material for one of them, you know, you can be over here watching it closer and then hit feed hold, you know, if there's a problem. Um, so. Okay, well, you've got a feed hold here. So you've got the same, you've got all the same control here. Um, 
We've got, we don't have e-stop, so this is not a safety device. Um, it can't be treated as that. You've got e-stop here and e-stop over there. Those are safety devices. Um, but for operation, you select your axi, MPG. These are your, uh, how fast you're jogging, basically. Here, you give it a try. We're on X right now. So clockwise is gonna go positive, go that way. And then if you switch this down to times 10, you'll see it goes a lot slower and then times you. one, yep. yep. Um, this part of the screen here never changes. That's global, so we've got our Axie positions. I'm gonna hide this one before I leave, which is the tool changer. So if it's gonna be there, it'll actually show up in this widget, but it won't be on the main gotcha. part of the screen there. Um, MDI, just touch it, type in. You've got your history if you go down. Um, so same way, I think you went to MDI mode over there, it's very similar. This is our park uh, coordinates. So currently we're in G54, and um, the uh, color here, you know, is like a light gray. If I click on viewing machine or machine there, then it goes orange. So if you see orange, that means it's a position from home. So it's a G53. Um, so there's no, the only way to zero that is when in the morning when you home the machine out for the first time. You know, it'll go and it'll find that, find your home switches and then you're at, you've got your, G, your G53 set.